Hi everyone, I'm Ali Grayman. Today I wanted to talk to you about feeling drained, feeling tired, physically, emotionally exhausted while going through OCD and OCD recovery. That is normal. You have to understand that your brain is under a lot of pressure. It's only really programmed to uh, deal with real life. You're adding real life, the situation added OCD, and now you're also adding OCD recovery. That's three things instead of one. Add another random stressor that comes in as they come in for everyone and you're over the top. Your brain is not meant to process this much every single day for however long you've had OCD. People have it for decades, right? If they're not treating it right before they figure out how to treat it. So it's been under this pressure for a long time. Your brain is tired. Um, Look at it as a symptom. In terms of recovery, I can tell you that, um, and this is actually a very common uh, situation, that what I see in my uh, work when I work with clients is generally the older the person is, the better uh, they go through the process of recovery, the faster their recovery is. Because if um, a person who, like a child or a young adult, is going through OCD recovery, right, And it's difficult and it's painful and you have to uh, disregard very intense thoughts. Somebody who has no, not a lot of experience in life, right? Such as a child or a person who has some experience, but not as much as, you know, a 40 or 50 or 60 year old would, right? It's for them, it's difficult, you know, it's difficult to uh, withstand the pain. So, and it seems like, well, young people, young brains, they'll recover faster. I'm telling you, um, the opposite is actually true. The people that recover the faster, uh, fastest are older rather than younger. So um, that's just, I just wanted to kind of put that in there just so you know that um, if you have suffered with OCD for a long time, it doesn't, it actually doesn't make any difference in terms of the recovery. I don't see people recovering longer if they had it for longer. But in terms of how you're feeling in the moment, going back to what I was talking about, the brain does get tired. And when the brain gets tired, the brain needs rest. Try not to um, have energy drinks, not to push yourself too far. You're drained because the brain is at its limit of how much um, work it can do. Don't push it to the next level. I know people with OCD, they're generally uh, doers, go-getters, active people. Not in every area of their life, but in areas of their life that they're interested in. And they are uh, people who get interested, who are uh, excitable. You know, they, they're, um, they, they can get kind of caught up in things and that sort of thing. So it's... You got to hold your horses. You can't do everything at once. Let yourself heal. And then little by little, start to get yourself involved in the things that you want to be involved in. Right now, look at this symptom of feeling drained as a signal that your brain is sending you that it's overworked. If you were a boss of a company and uh, your employee was saying, I'm overworked, would you put them on a double shift? No, same thing here. You know, you have to give yourself room to rest and to give yourself your brain room to recuperate. So what I suggest is reduce caffeine, take naps if you can. Some people have trouble sleeping, but if you can, take naps. If you can't take a nap, meditate. Give yourself a way to uh, relax, a way to pull back a little bit because your brain really needs it. And don't get caught up, well, why, why am I feeling tired? Why am I feeling this way? You're feeling this way because the brain is overworked. It's, it, it needs a rest. It will pass. This is not a forever thing. As your OCD gets better, you will feel um, an energetic flow and you, you will start to be able to uh, take on more things. But again, you, it's almost like it happens too fast that people are like, oh, I feel better, I'm recovered, I can do all these things. Try to take it easy. Try to just, okay, I'm just going to do a little bit. Let a week pass by. See how it goes. And another like that, okay? 
because it is very, very important not to overdo it. Because if you overdo it, you'll put yourself in stress. Some OCD thought will come in. You will not be able to handle it the right way because your uh, brain is overstimulated. Then you go into this whole thing. So you have to actively choose to disregard as the thoughts are coming in. And for that, your brain needs to be rested. To the best of its ability, you will still feel tired, right? So, you know, just doing what you can, but the brain will still be, you will still feel drained for the first little while. But it will pass. And I can tell you that from productivity perspective, generally speaking, um, people with OCD still somehow get things done, even while being drained, even while being tired, even, you know, with all of these things, somehow they end up pulling it off. I don't know if it's just because their um, thinking capability is higher because they think so much, it's just so developed, but, uh, but, but they can figure it out somehow. So if you're worried, well, um, a lot of the times I hear like, well, if I'm going to do recovery work, then uh, this will make me tired, overwhelmed, I won't be able to get things done. That's all just excuses. You will be able to get things done. You'll just be more tired. But if it's something extra, something that you don't really need to do, put it off until you do recovery work. Don't put recovery work off because that's just not good. That's not productive. And you, every time, if you're not making steps forward, it means that you're making steps back. And every time you're making steps back, this is something that you're going to have to dig yourself out of later. So you have to have this very clear vision of where do you want to be? And if you want to be at point from point A to point B, you need to at least start that journey. And start it now rather than tomorrow because that means you're, you're moving backwards right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find my videos helpful. If you would like to do one-on-one -on -one recovery program with me, all the information is on youhaveocd.com. You can sign up from there and you can book an appointment from there. I'll see you tomorrow.